Hello everyone, this is Heather Wibbles of MassageByHeather.com. I've got another short demonstration video for you. Today is a video demonstration of lymphatic drainage massage on yourself. Uh, the lymphatic system is one of the key parts of the immune system and when you feel a lot of congestion or um, stuffiness in your head, when you feel like you've got some pressure in your head, uh, sometimes that's caused by the lymphatic system extra drainage, extra fluid in the head and lymphatic drainage massage can actually be used to bring that fluid down out of the head. Uh, so there are some specific contraindications for this. If you look on my blog site, there will be a list of those things. If you have any of those contraindications, check with your physician before doing this on yourself. So lymphatic drainage massage is very slow. You're going to actually pump uh, the fluid from the surface of the skin. It's also very light. You'll be using the pressure of moving a coin across uh, the top of a table. It is not a very deep massage, but it is very, very effective. We're going to be working on the lymphatic uh, fluids that are close to the surface of the skin, and what I'm going to show you how to do is how to drain your head, and we're going to drain the neck and around the ears and the back of the neck. And that will give you some relief uh, if you're suffering from allergies, sinus congestion, if you have headaches from congestion in the head. Sometimes this can help with dizziness or vertigo, some of the side symptoms that go along with having a cold and having a lot of fluid in your head. So to start, we're going to find the venous angle, which is the primary place where all of the lymphatic drainage fluid is going to uh, drain back into the body. That happens up here in the venous angle. It's between, uh, it, it is between the sternocleidomastoid muscle and uh, in a small divot right above where your clavicle is. So I'm going to show you how to find that. Take uh, your third finger, your ring finger on each hand, and I'm going to place that on the interior notch, the uh, most medial part of the collarbone. It's that little bump that you have here. Here's the breastbone, your little notch at your neck. I'm going to put my third finger on the inside of the collarbone on each side. I'm just going to slide my hands up over the collarbone until I'm in that soft tissue. That soft tissue is going to make the V between the sternocleidomastoid muscle, this long muscle right here, and here's the collarbone. So third finger there. I'm going to move my hands inside just a little bit and lightly start to pump. Now, as you can see, I'm not pressing very hard. I'm not using a lot of pressure. Again, the pressure is very light. I'm going very slow, maybe one pump every one to two seconds, if that fast. So very slow motion. As you do this, you may feel the drainage uh, start to move. Uh, you may have to clear your throat. I probably will have to several times. Uh, you may feel the pressure change in your ears as well or in your head. If this is too hard for you to do, you can also cross your hands and use your fingertips and basically push in a little bit and pull down towards that venous angle on both sides. I usually have people do between 50 and 20 of these pumps uh, just to start out with and that gets the fluid moving. The way the lymphatic system works, you uh, start here and it's just like any other kind of fluid system. As the fluid drains from this section, uh, it's going to create suction which pulls drainage from the higher point uh, in the system, which is going to be on either side of the neck. So once you've done 15, or, excuse me, 50 or 100 of these pumps down here at the neck, we're going to work on the side of the neck. So we're going to place the flat part of our fingers and the top part of our palm on either side of the neck. Hold on to it like this, and you'll just start pulling down with the surface of your palm and the surface of your fingers. So pulling straight down, uh, really along that angle of where the sternocleidomastoid muscle is, that big muscle that we were just pointing out. So do about 50 of these. You'll feel it start to move uh, from your ears now uh, down into your throat. <clears throat> Sometimes it'll feel like a tickle in your throat. Sometimes it'll feel like additional blood flow is getting in there. Once you've done about 50 of these, we're going to work on the back of the neck. To do that, we're going to put our hands, cup our hands together like this, put the surface of the fingers again and the top part of the palm on the back of the neck and pull downward. Let me show you from the back. So I've got my fingers cupped and I'm pulling down on the back of the neck. Do that 50 times. So we did 50 or 100 here, we did about 50 here, we did 50 at the back of the neck, and the last part we're going to do is uh, work on around the ear. So you're going to put your hands in the live long and prosper symbol, one very useful thing to know if you're a Trekkie. And you're going to put it on, uh, put your ear between those two fingers on both sides, and then you're just going to pull downward toward the 
bottom of the cheek toward that same line where everything drains. So everything's going to drain this direction. Put your hands uh, so that you have your fingers on either side of the ear and you're pulling down lightly. Uh, again, very light pressure. You're going to use the full uh, finger and top part of your palm to pull downward. Once you've done that about 50 times, we're going to do what we did last, which is cup around the back. Do that 50 times. <clears throat> and my fluid is uh, moving right now. My uh, right ear is completely clear and my left ear still has a little bit of drainage in it. Once you do that about 50 times, you're going to pull down the side of the neck again, like this. Do that about 50 times, and then we'll end up where we started, right here. Uh, third finger on the, the in internal notch right there. Slip into the venous angle. Just go right above the collarbone. And hang out there. Do 50 or 100 pumps right there. And you're going to continue to feel the fluid move uh, throughout the rest of your head as well. So these are the steps that I do to myself when I actually uh, have some congestion in my head like I did this morning. It's actually moving quite well right now. So feel free to share this with friends and family. Uh, this will really help during cold season. If you start getting a cold and you need some, some more room in your airway, this is another way to kind of open things up. Uh, doing this right here will also drain fluid from the face. So uh, as you pull the fluid down out from around the ears and underneath, it will start to pull on the drains that go in the face and across the forehead. So you will be affecting the lymphatic drainage system throughout the whole head and neck just by pumping on at the venous angle here, at the neck, and around the ears. So enjoy. Uh, give me any comments or feedback you have about this. And I wish you lots of luck doing this on yourself. You may end up doing it every day, uh, especially during allergy season or cold season. So this is Heather Wibbles at MassageByHeather.com. Thank you for joining me for this video demonstration. You can look me up at MassageByHeather.com online. Thanks so much. You guys have a good day.